5,000. That's the number of teens and young adults that die every single year due to underage drinking. That's why with prom and graduation season now upon us, one group is speaking out. The Now KC's Tara Hall reports on how they're working to bring that number down to zero. For kids who live in the Kansas City Northland, the average age that they begin drinking is 12. That's sixth grade. And of those who have had some kind of alcoholic beverage at some point in their lives, nearly a quarter of them say it was sometime in the last month. While Park Hill High School senior Jordan Elder usually dishes out advice to her peers, Wednesday she took time to talk to parents about the perils of underage drinking. Starting the conversation, it's as easy as just sitting down and asking your child, like, what are your thoughts on underage drinking? And then comparing it to theirs and telling them, this is my expectation for you. You have a future. You have goals. This isn't what's going to get you there. Multiple organizations came together with one common goal, to keep kids across the metro safe this prom and graduation season. It can change lives, it can kill people. Um, so when they take, take the steps to avoid underage drinking, they're saving lives. You see, research shows that kids who learn a lot from their parents about the dangers of alcohol and other drugs are 50% less likely to use than those who do not. It might be a hard conversation, but it's necessary. Because when a child or a teenager chooses to drink, they're affecting way more than just themselves. They're affecting everyone around them. They're affecting whoever might be in the car with them, everyone else on the roads, and then their families. Like, there's a very large scope of who it's going to affect. Because she says, well, parents may not physically be there on prom or graduation night, their words can be. All right, so how do you break the ice when it comes to talking to a teen about underage drinking? Parent Up has one piece of advice. Download this contract. It asks all kinds of questions like what a teen should do if they go to a party where alcohol is being served and how to avoid getting in a car with someone they believe is drinking. You can find this contract to download and print for yourself at our website, kshb.com slash the now. Reporting for the now, I'm Tara Hall. Thank you, Tara. And also at that meeting were law enforcement officers and prosecutors who say that even if no teen dies as a result of underage drinking, the adults who provided them with alcohol can still have their lives ruined via hefty fines, a record, possibly even jail time.